Hey, trainer. Yeah, you there. Over here. Follow my voice. That's right. Just a little closer. Don't seem so scared. It's just a city alleyway. You must be new to Lumio City. Come on now. Surely you're accustomed to Dark Knights alone as a Pokemon trainer. Me? <laughs> I'm nothing to be afraid of. I'm just your friendly neighborhood hex maniac. Something told me to call out to you. I could also use a little bit of help if it's not too much trouble. You see this office building here? I want to get inside, but it's locked. Think you could help me break open this door? I know it's wrong, but I heard this building is full of ghost Pokemon at night, and there's something I need to find. Aww, you think I'm crazy, don't you? Everybody does. But to be fair, I could say the same thing about you, right? You had to be a little crazy to think you can be a Pokemon champion. Uh, oh, I, I just had a feeling, that's all. It's not like I can read your mind or anything. <laughs> anyway, I know what I'm doing isn't exactly right, but you have to understand. I need to get inside this building. My life as a hex maniac depends on it. It's kind of like finding a shiny Pokemon. The chance is 1 in 4,096. Even though the odds are against you, the thought of finding that one Pokemon gives you such a rush, doesn't it? So what do you say? Will you help me? You will? Thank you so much. I think if we both push together, we can open this thing. One, two, three. It opened. Now we can get inside. Uh, oh, you don't want to go in? Aren't you even a little curious? Besides, I need to pay you back for helping me. No, no, no. This hex maniac doesn't take freebies. I'm a firm believer in returning the favor, so I'd appreciate it if you would at least let me do that. Besides, maybe there's a cool ghost Pokemon inside for you to catch. It's so dark. Let's see. Of course the lights won't work. I'm sure all the ghost Pokemon here are draining the power. Well, that's okay. I prefer it that way. Hey, why are you so close? You're scared? What's there to be scared of? Here, I'll hum a little song for you to calm you down. aren't scary. They're just misunderstood. Think about it. If people always took off running when you introduced yourself, wouldn't that make you a little sad? Or even angry? I know that feeling all too well. A lot of people run when they see me. But you didn't, and that really means a lot. Sometimes it's hard to see things from a different perspective. But when you do, you can understand how others feel. Sure, there are bad ghosts, but there are bad people too, right? It doesn't mean we shouldn't give ghosts a chance, though, just because they're ghosts. 
Maybe they just want a friend. Now, let's find a place where I can set up my things. Oh, by things I mean my way of repaying you. In return for helping me get inside this building, let me read your fortune. Maybe that's not accurate. Maybe like a deeper look into your life and potential future. These cards are just a means to guide you. Ultimately, it's up to you as the person on if you choose to listen or not. Hmm, this seems like a nice spot. Right next to this elevator. I feel a strong energy coming from it for some reason. Give me just a moment to light this candle and set up my things. There we go. All set. Now, tell me a little about yourself while I shuffle these cards. It's important that they're shuffled carefully, and that I'm thinking about the person I'll be reading them for. and shuffled. Thanks for telling me a little more about you. You seem like a very interesting trainer. I'm glad you decided to help me. <laughs> now, I will draw three cards. One for the past, one for the present, and one for the future. We'll go over each of them individually. But don't be scared. This is all just for fun, and doesn't necessarily mean they're true. Think of them as a way to look deeper inside yourself. First is the card representing the past. Oh, an Eevee. After learning a little more about you, I can't say I'm surprised. Considering an Eevee has so many evolutions, Perhaps this is the card's way of saying you've always been open to new ideas. A blank canvas ready to be painted. Of course, that's just one interpretation. It could also mean that you're very impressionable, and will evolve to fit whatever is most convenient. Now, on to the present. An upright Umbreon. Hmm... This is a tough one. I'm sorry to say this, but this is usually a bad sign. Are you perhaps insecure about something? Maybe you fear failing your gym challenge. Something is making you uneasy, but you're not exactly sure what. 
It's important to think hard about these things, you know. If you're ever feeling that something isn't right, you should take some time to reevaluate the choices you're making. For example, do you have a friend or rival you can't trust? Are they scheming something behind your back? Like I said, there are good and bad ghosts. The same goes for people. Pick who you trust wisely. Don't let the little Evie inside you get tricked into evolving into something you don't want. Lastly, we have the future. <laughs> you really have gotten quite the trio of cards. An upright absol. In simple terms, this means that an end of sorts is coming soon. What that end is, only you know the answer. An end to your journey. An end to a friendship. Or maybe the end is something more... Literal. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Like I said, these readings shouldn't be taken that serious. It's just for fun, really. So you can stop looking so scared now. Thanks for letting me read your cards. That was a lot of fun. The last person I did this for freaked out when I read their future card and ran off. Before you go, I have one more favor to ask if that's alright. You see, what I really wanted to do was use this crystal ball of mine to get a reading of energy. All I need you to do is tap on this crystal ball for me. You seem to have a lot of, how do I say, energy. And I think it could help me connect with some ghosts later. It makes a really nice sound too so it's pretty relaxing. elevator door seems to be reacting to all your energy. So much so, I bet it would work even without the power running. What do you say? Want to see if the little ghosties here will give us a lift to the bottom? They seem to really love the energy you're giving them. I guess that is a little too scary, isn't it? It would be a shame if we got stuck in here overnight. But still... I came to this building to find, well, let's just say I'm looking for someone. This may be my last chance, so I think I'll risk taking the elevator. Feel free to take the stairs back down, though. 
You remember how to get to them, don't you? I think it was left, right, right, left, left. Or was it right, left, right, left, left? Aww. Oh, you want to get on the elevator too? That's great. Now I won't feel so lonely. Not that we're alone now. I sense lots of ghost Pokemon around us. Let's see if the door will actually open. Oh, it did. And look, the lights inside are even on. Looking at all these buttons, this building has a lot more floors than I thought. But for now, we'll head down. I know you just want to get out of here. Right, little Evie? Let's see if the ghosties will actually move this thing. Floor number one it is. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually moving. How does it feel to be on a haunted elevator? Pretty exciting, isn't it? I want to take this time to thank you. It seems as though I finally found the one. You're the first person to ever go through with helping me. And not just with the breaking in, but all of it. You really are something, aren't you? Not once did you think I was tricking you despite being a hex maniac. You really are like an innocent little Evie. I can't wait to see how you'll evolve. Thanks to you, I can finally leave this place. Oh? The elevator won't open for you. That's so strange. It seems to open up just fine for me. See? Goodbye, trainer. I hope that you can find the one, too. <laughs>